Hello everyone and welcome back to another Elden Ring DLC Shadow of the Erd Tree Guide. In this one we're going over the final set of NPC quests for Egon and or Igon and the Dragon Communion Priestess. This is a difficult quest but has some good rewards especially if you do the Moor quest beforehand allowing you to get the Ancient Dragon Florisac Spirit Summon which I will explain in the video. So let's go over how to do these quest lines. Let's take a look. This quest actually starts when you first meet Egon next to the Pillar Path waypoint just south of Castle Ensis. You can't talk to him, he's just shouting about Bale. From here head north into the Dragon's Pit and all the way to the boss and defeat him. You'll also get a good reward here which is a great katana and then the door will open leading to the Dragon's Pit Terminus. From here head forward to the Pit of Dragons and then walk up the hill on the right just to see this message here from Igon about Bale. In front of you is a large jagged archway so head down and through that and there is only one way to go so follow the path until you reach a horse spring. You can use this to jump up a cliff and reach a rope bridge which leads to the first grace point. From here continue on the path until you come to two giant drakes fighting it out. In order to continue the quest you must defeat these dragons, however you can let them fight it out until one dies and then you can take on the remaining one. They are super slow so it's not too much of a tough fight, they do hit hard but it shouldn't be too much trouble. And after defeating them you can then hear laughing coming from nearby. It's Egon and you can speak to him. He gives you the furled finger so you can summon him later in the game when you fight Bale the Dread. Our next step then in this quest is to actually go to the summit and fight Bale, however there is a second NPC tied to this quest, so let's go find the Dragon Communion Priestess. So you can fast travel back to the Dragon Pit Terminus and instead of going through the Jagged Archway we are going the complete opposite direction to find the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Here you can speak with the Dragon Priestess and she will offer you to drink the Draconic Essence. Now before we do this there is a part of the quest I cannot show because I messed up another quest but I need to mention it at this point and that is to get an alternate reward from the Dragon Priestess. Basically if you do the Moor quest line, you can check out my video on the Moor quest line, you will get the Black Syrup from Moor. You can give this syrup to Theolier and he will give you Theolier's concoction. Now you can give this concoction to the Dragon Priestess when it's night time and this will put her into a deep sleep. Reload the area or a couple of times and she will awaken and then you can exhaust her dialogue. If you do this you will get the alternate reward for this quest which is the Ancient Dragon Florisax Spirit Summon. Essentially the way it works is after you defeat Bale you return to her and she will mention her lord is dead and you're her new lord and she will turn into the spirit summon. However if you do this you will miss the other quest rewards which we are going to go over so you can either get this reward or the other reward but you can't get both. But I'm going to show you how to get the other reward and we're going to continue this quest as normal. I just needed to mention this part of the quest which is an alternate reward however I just can't show you because I messed up the moor quest line and didn't get the black syrup but this is what it's for. Anyway let's move on for the regular way simply accept to drink the draconic essence with the dragon priestess and she will tell you to follow the jagged peak and find Bale to devour its heart. In exchange for your service the priestess will give you the ancient dragon's blessing. Exhaust all the dialogue and you're done. The last part of the quest is to fight Bale and get your rewards so travel back to Egon and continue past him and ride the two spirit springs up. Go through the cave to the southeast and then head south avoiding all the fallen boulders. Follow the path until you reach the sleeping ancient dragon Senesax. You don't need to fight unfortunately, you just have to run through the cave and to the left there is a steep slope you can head up. 
and this will lead you to the Jagged Peak Mountainside Site of Grace. Follow the mountain path to the left, hug the wall, and on the left you will find another spring which will lead to a cave, and in the cave there is another small passage with another spring that will lead you to the Peak Point of Grace. The final thing we need to do then is beat Bale. I equipped the Mogwine Spear, and I'm not going to lie, I found this boss really easy to beat. In fact, I did it on my first try, and I only went into the arena to make sure I knew where the summoning sign for Egon was, but I ended up defeating him with very little issues, so I'm not sure if this is just an easy boss fight, or if my build was super strong against him, but he didn't really give me any issues. Once he's defeated, it's time to get your rewards. If you travel back to the foot of the peak to where Egon was, you previously found him, you will get his great bow and armor. He also has a bell bearing which if you give to the twin maidens, you will be able to purchase Egon's harpoons. Return to the Dragon Priestess, if you gave her the concoction earlier you will get the Spirit Summon, otherwise you will get these two items which are the Flower Stone Gavel Weapon. And the Priestess Heart, which allows you to take a Dragon Farm. Unequip all of your armor and use it as a consumable to make the farm of a dragon priestess in battle. Last but not least, don't forget to exchange your Bale Heart at the Communion for either Bale's Tyranny or Bale's Lightning Flame. Guys, that is it for this quest guide. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.